guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 11 and 11.5 of March Comes In Like a Lion. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 11 in 3, 2, 1, go. Honestly, really, I should have asked if I needed to re uh to react to episode 11.5, but I'm automatically going to do it anyway, just in case, because I don't really know if 11.5 is literally going to be the exact same thing that we'll see in 11, but we ain't going to know until we watch 11.5. If it is, I will still watch the episode just in case to see what new things might pop up. It could just be a recap, maybe. Um, if it is a recap, then we'll just have episode 11 come out this week, and then next week we'll have 12 and 13. But who knows? I could cheat and look, but we're not going to do that. Do you at least get a break? Oh. Hmm. I hate the fact that he overworks himself. But. Hmm. That's with any athlete though. Yeah, but you're that too, but you're too weak. Mm -mm. The one time that I wish that like Hina and her sisters could at least take care of him or at least known. But because of the fact that he's so, he's still very closed off, it's just hard for him. Elevators? Escalator, yeah. Mm -hmm. But what's at the top? You probably don't even know either. The Kyoko could be Hina. Or it could be what's his face? <laughs> Mama? Mama! Oh. Oh. 
Thank God. You're coming with us. <laughs> to their place, silly. That too. Mm hmm. Good. <sighs> Make you feel better. <laughs> yeah, but so wouldn't it be okay just to Tell them. Miss Gauls. Oh. So you gotta call him and tell him that you're okay. Even not call if you can't call, you message something. Good that you realize that. Of course. I mean, he's not actually your dad, but still, he worries about you. He took you in. Me. Even Momo, oh my God! Well, I mean, you also had the kotatsu, so of course, because it's hella warm under there. We're like, mm, nap time. Yeah. You know what? Let me go ahead and ask. Are, is there going to be a point in time where they're going to talk about their father? I mean, maybe not now, but like at least by the second half of this series or at least maybe 24, 23 maybe? Mm. 
Oh my god, it's so cute. Because imagine if she didn't find you, who knows what would happen to you. So, oh, did you guys go to a shrine together? That's good, oh my god. <sighs> Well, yeah. I mean, it's like... <laughs> So precious. <laughs> Nothing. Oh. <laughs> of course. You would think, you know, his father and then, you know, Kyoko would at least send him, uh, can't speak, send him pe uh, postcards as well, you know?
Oh, Ray, you get one too. Aww. No, take it. Besides, you did good. Oh. Your sister and your grandma, your mom. Yeah. That's sweet. But, okay, if a kind of likes working there. <laughs> it's not that bad. When I grow up, I want to be just like her. That's a sophisticated bitch. Like, yes. Smart, independent. Oomph. Oh, shit. What the fuck was that? I'd rather have that than what I'm having for dinner tonight. Day seven of my diet and I'm like, yay, I did good. But at the same time, I'm dying inside. Wait, what's the gum for? So, Ray, how do you feel now? You feel a little more better? <laughs> no. 
Aww. <laughs> He's so cute and precious. Maybe because it reminds you of your home before, you know, everything that happened happened. That was sweet. Oh, I love their aunt. Oh my god. <laughs> I love the fact that you know, <laughs> and God, he just you know has that feeling that he wasn't feeling good and such. But oh my god, to start this episode off with him being in bed the last day of the year, <sighs> and he's sick. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. How the hell am I sleepy at like 5 o'clock in the afternoon slash evening? But I felt bad for him because, I mean, he worked himself a lot from episodes 1 up to now. But I didn't think it was going to be the point where he got himself sick. I didn't think he would have gotten sick in this episode. I thought he would have been okay. But it, it happens when you overwork yourself. Whether you are an athlete or a regular person, you overwork yourself to the bone so much you will usually cause yourself to get sick and you're gonna have to take a couple of days off. Even though, like me as someone who's very hardworking in her videos and who also is looking for a job at the same time, um, there were parts that in the beginning when I started this journey in 2016, I worked myself to the core and one day I got really, really sick and to the point where I... I couldn't get up. I, I felt so tired. My body hurt really bad. Like, I just, I felt like I couldn't do anything. And it was the worst day ever for me. And so I had to tell people I couldn't record. Some people were upset, though, because I think, how can I say this? Oh, mama. As I was saying, some people are very, um, not really accepting, and I'm not going to say, like, I don't think it's any of my followers, I think it's people who don't, are not really specifically subscribed to me, because there are some people who are like, I expect your reaction to come out today, no ifs, ands, or buts about it, like, there is no excuse, and so I think with the first time when I did that for the first year I because my mom and I will still even have conversations about it now um my mom always thinks that I'm trying to be that first one to get it out like anything that's new that comes out like so um any other shows that I watch like Akudama Drive everything that I watch on Friday everything that I watch on Saturday um the couple of shows that I'm maybe doing over the weekend plus the one show that I'm doing on Monday and I was like no I'm never really not trying to be first I was like normally by the time I'm usually uploading it I'm either like 
the second to last or I am the last person. Sometimes I'm not even in that reaction mashup. And I don't really get upset to the fact that I can't, I'm i not in them. I'm just like, oh, it's okay. We'll try again next week because my my, my sleep schedule's like out of whack and such. And so my biggest thing is also being on this diet is to get sleep earlier and such and we're all trying that I mean it's hard because sometimes I want to stay up in the middle of the night because sometimes I can't sleep but it happens but yeah I mean also like I said again their mom not their mom their aunt was so freaking sweet I love her and I hope we get to see more episodes there because she seems very interesting but my biggest thing is now is why doesn't Akari um Hina or Momo will want to talk about their father and if they do want to talk about their father will we see that later on in this series at least before we get into the ending of season one going into the season, second season or really the second half of the show honestly I have no freaking clue but yeah this is a really good episode I honestly I cannot believe I'm about to say this. Is it weird that I like the fact that he got sick? Because, I mean, he's Ray is a hardworking person. And Shogi is, like, number one for him no matter what. That's to any athlete and such. But just to see a day where he's not playing it but he's sick. It was really nice because I feel bad for him. But at the same time, it's like, you, you kind of really deserve this. You need to kind of, like, take a break. And I don't know if he actually gets breaks. He gets breaks on, you know, days when he doesn't have a game. But I mean, like, you know, when it is a Christmas break, does he not have to worry about Shogi when it's, well, not really summer break, but like holidays and such like that. Does he get a day away from it to just be at home or hang out with the girls or just someone to talk to for a day and just be in that moment? You know, that's all I want to know. But, um, go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 11.5. Alrighty, 11.5 and 3 two one go hopefully I can finish this before like my mom leaves because this is 20 so 24 minutes from now yeah I should be able to finish it like at least before 550 uh, I got chills all over again Something tells me that this episode really is from the situation of happened that I watched last week, continuing from that. I don't know, because it, it's a little weird to after those two episodes came and then we're getting into 11 and then we immediately go to the last day of the year and he's sick. Even though I really enjoyed that episode, that was a really, really good episode. I, I felt like there was still more that we didn't get to see from that episode that we're possibly going to see in this episode. I'm not 100% sure though, but we're going to have to see. So, yeah. Mm. That's important. Okay. <laughs>
See, now this feels more like a recap. Whatever. We're going to watch it anyway. Yeah, this is definitely a recap. Mm hmm. Well, that's good. I mean, we get to see certain moments again. Oh my god. Yeah, that's because you're fun. <laughs> much hopefully we get an episode just strictly about haru as much as i love ray <laughs> and these two as well i mean there's so many good characters in this show that i feel like they need like a one-off episode strictly about them and this the shit that they're going through as well because as much as i love ray and no matter what the whole freaking series is going to be about ray at the end of the day but still at the same time i would love to see more episodes also focusing on different characters i'm still wait we technically got that with hina but i still want that with like akari and then anyone else who he needs Especially freaking Kyoko and her BS. Because, like, your girl wants to know. Unless, you know, she spoils herself. But I don't want to do that.
Oh, gone. It was the only way for you to get out of that situation because I feel like if he would have said no and his aunt or his sister oh shit I am Coco of course um he would have been to so many different orphanages in and out of family homes just like that all the time. Because, of course, it's too much for him. makes me wonder like specifically for Ayamu if he's ever going to get out of that rut I get the fact that yes he was the first one to break down but I think that's kind of a reason also why I want to see an episode on other characters specifically him and just to see how he's doing if we if, even if I don't get it I just want an update on him even though he was just like a one and done type character and it seems like we will never see him again. But of course we're going to see Kyoko a lot more. I still want to know about him, you know? I was in this one when we meet like her, the guy that she has a crush on. <laughs> So pretty. Something also tells me with like you, he's going to be featured in more episodes that are on.
We better see more of that. I swear to God. <laughs> Which did happen, like, an episode later because he comes home. He comes over, but, like, I was expecting baby at least. <laughs> like 13 or 14 but still I, I actually want to see Ray have other friends besides Haru and the sisters even though I mean will we consider you Honestly, you know what? And I didn't think about this until kind of now in a way. If any of you have seen um, Beastars, like, Ray kind of gives me, like, a legacy type vibe. Not in a bad way, in a really good way. He is shy, just like him. And, I mean, there's some a little similarity and differences between them two. That was a cute episode, like literally. <laughs> With the cutest song ever, like oh my god. <laughs> Honestly, now I also want to see them at least also go against Ray. Just, I mean, because of course, those two are both newbies and Ray is a fucking professional. But, and I think he would probably let them down easy and, you know, not kind of glow in that one like some people that I've seen. I also thought in this recap they would have shown that like one scene with Hina and when she like left saying that she was going to go to the convenience store and she went and she cried. Kyoko. Well, he's an ass for one, but... Is it bad that I want her to kill him, though? I mean, like, I shouldn't wish that, right? 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 Honestly, I thought that was a really good comparison, even though at the time when I watched this episode, I was like, should I comment on that? But like, cause that's what Ray is to everyone else when he comes in and he wins a match. 
I mean, they're at, he's ending their career, like, in a heartbeat. And, I mean, yes, he had that one person come back and, like, not come out of retirement and such. Or really retire, but still. You're right about that, though. this part Your three angels came to save you. To the doctor. Just also having him call them. That warmed my heart. Like, he didn't have to do it. He probably even didn't want to do it. But I'm glad he did. Mm -hmm. Because, to me, sometimes... The way Ray is, he feels like possibly no one really cares about him, even though he has people who care about him a lot. Yeah, he may have people who use the crap out of him and everything, but still, you have them. You have your, like, he, it's his extended family. That's who he has. <laughs> There has to be. I just, that that's the biggest thing I want to know. I need them to talk about their father. Why the hell do they not want to talk about him?
True, but... Because you are a part of the family. For a recap, and normally I don't really watch recaps because of the fact is you're just retelling everything that is just shown from episodes 1 to episode 11. Honestly, this was a really good recap, and I'm actually glad that I did watch it because I do like to see some things that are refreshed, but at the same time, I'm kind of wondering what the hell happened in 12. But this is good. It was really good. I loved it for what it was. I'm glad that it showed everything that I really wanted or needed to be show. But my biggest question is the thing about um, Akari, Hina, and Momo's dad. And why the fact that they're not, they don't talk about him. There's got to be something. There's more to the story on that. Still, like I said in, in this um, recap episode, I do want episodes that also focus on on other characters. Like I said, we got that kind of with a Hina episode. Um, do I want a Momo episode? A little bit of yeah and a little bit of no because of the fact is Momo is still young and I felt like Momo is just going to be the type of girl who's just like, yeah, I just want candy and this is that the third and such. But I feel like Momo does have like a little bit of feelings that she feels because of the fact is going into the previous episode when Akari um, is taking care of of Ray and how she it was shown her mom feeding her and everything and how she was talking about how she repeated the words and stuff like that and that um Momo didn't get to hear those because you know their mom passed away and such I mean with especially with Momo I we know the effect on, it has on um Hina a little bit of Akari because you know we've had those moments where Ray and Akari do talk sometimes about Akari's mother but we haven't really seen it with Momo I just don't think Momo is at that age to talk she's like what four years old I don't think a four-year-old will want to talk about that I mean because she's still a baby so I I would give it time but I think it could be, it could be smart. It could be nice. It could be different. I don't know. But like I said, I, I mean, this is a really good re recap episode. Loved it. 10 out of 10 would recommend. But at the same time, still going into a uh, 12 to what episode 24 or 25 until the end of season one is over going on to season two. Biggest things that I do pray for is that we get episodes focusing on other characters or even if it's just like a couple of minutes focusing on a character that is not Ray because like I said I love Ray to death he he's one of those characters that I can somewhat relate to because of how he truly feels in certain moments because we've all felt like that in times but at the same time like because we are getting it with Hina Akari not that much of Momo we kind of got it with you hopefully we get another episode with you because I really like him and I want to know more about like his accomplishments his goals same thing with um Haru and his especially with his situation because as everybody told me where I'm gonna get a little more context on that later on into the series and honestly I can't wait but yeah for a good recap episode I honestly enjoyed it loved it and I cannot wait to see what is going to be in store from 12 to 24. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 11. And 11.5 of March comes in like a lion. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for everybody else. And next Friday for Patreons for episodes 12 and 13. Bye, guys.